When Jim Hambrick, owner of the Americana Hollywood Museum, heard his phone ringing at 2 Saturday morning, he knew something was probably wrong. I got a call from the Metropolis Police telling me that there was water coming out of the building. When Hambrick arrived, the first thing he saw was this 3D Titanic model underwater. As terrible as this was, did you think ironic a little? Well, I just felt lucky that I wasn't on the Titanic. So. <laughs> a pipe had burst on the museum's second floor. Hambrick says he didn't even know it was there. That pipe was the PVC, and the cold air got to it and froze it up, and then when it thawed out, the ice expands and poof. Items associated with blonde bombshell Marilyn Monroe were damaged the most. Unfortunately, you know, Marilyn is the most popular of, of all. These waterlogged magazines now need to dry out so they can hopefully be restored. Hambrick estimates the damage at more than $100,000. You know, some of those photographs that we lost here, they run anywhere between three to $800 a piece. A canceled check signed by Monroe got wet, as did her death certificate and some posters. Hambrick says he can sum up his feelings about the incident in just one word. Helpless. Can't do nothing about it. What the museum does plan to do is take some time off to get these famous items ready for their close-up again. In Metropolis, Jackie McPherson, News 3.